Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season three, episode 12 and 13 of The Expanse. If you're watching this on Patreon, I'm actually watching the final two episodes as one feature length episode. So we're going to have a real treat this week. I'm so excited about this final dash for the expanse i i have no idea what's gonna happen I, I don't even think i'm in the ballpark of knowing i'm expecting to get battered all over the place with twists turns what the fucks all of that last episode was really for me one of the most beautiful episodes of the entire series from the cinematography um, the entire episode being effectively zero g the character moments you know particularly ashford and kamina and tilly and i feel like it really gave a chance for characters that we maybe hadn't seen shine in quite that way to do so and i felt that particularly strongly with tilly fagan and with ashford and kamina because although kamina has kind of been a badass up until now i, I don't think kamina's made me cry and those moments with her and Ashford. I really love dialogue where you have two characters giving differing arguments and you find yourself nodding along with each. And I think that's a real gift when writers are brave enough not to present an obvious, you know, this is the right argument and this is the wrong argument, but to really create in you um, a real understanding and, uh, and a deep empathy with where that character is coming from, why they're presenting that argument, and that actually both arguments can be right, both motives can be right, and that's what makes making decisions so tough sometimes, because you're not just deciding between a good thing and a bad thing, you're, you're deciding between two good things that could have bad outcomes, and, and trying to balance those things off against each other, which feels much more real world to me, even though we're set in a sign a you know a sci-fi context. I will never, ever, 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 ever be over Anna rescuing Naomi. That took a turn I did not expect it to, and it lights me up every single time I think about it. There is a grit to Anna. She's not just like a pacifist or like a sort of goody two shoes she is willing to like properly get down and dirty when when it, righteousness demands it and i'm all for that so that was fantastic obviously ashford's speech destroyed me absolutely destroyed it i have not felt i don't think that particular wave of emotion since the sonambulist when Naomi went out to um, let people onto the ship when we could only take like 50 and the sacrifice that all of the belters made on Ganymede at that point. That was how I was feeling again of like, oh God, this is, you You know, you've, you've sort of been building up to expect something awful to happen and then someone does something really wonderful. And it's just, yeah, enlivening, good for the soul. We're in a really sticky situation now because Jim thinks that he has seen the end of everything. As we discussed at the end of last episode, I don't know if Jim saw the end of the world as we know it, or if he was seeing the end of the world as in what destroyed the previous civilization, which it looks like the proto molecule is there to bring back. If they're one in the same, because the civilization that the proto molecule exists to bring back is actually humanity and we're in a loop. Or if it, it's just as it is, it's the end. He's somehow seen space time in it. Although we saw the proto molecule stuff in reverse, we were looking at the future. We don't know, is the point. But I guess we're going to at least start addressing some of the questions that need to be asked about that. 
um, in this next couple of episodes, even if we don't get full answers. Bobby is obviously going to have to take care of our gym because those Martians are getting a bit jumpy and a bit trigger happy. I really need Drummer to live. We now have Clarissa Mag captured on the Rosie, but obviously the Rosie team aren't aware of her. So I'm quite nervous about how that is going to play out. If she is going to get like to break free and maybe attack, kill, injure somebody important to us and quite how they're going to stop her I would rip her teeth out but I know that's obviously probably against you know the Geneva Convention um, but so yeah we really need to keep an eye on her I think the best way would be, be to space her and then that little thing ain't gonna work so obviously I would hope for character redemption that Clarissa has an opportunity to redeem herself takes that opportunity and I would happily forgive her in the longer run but I will I don't see it happening I think she's too far baked yeah. the ridiculousness of this vendetta that she has basically become a flying monkey in service of a narcissistic father she's out there doing his bidding rah, 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 at Jim Holden who's done nothing wrong he, he has attempted to stop her father's evil and yet because she's so stuck in her commitment to like gain his approval she can't break out of it if she can't break out of it I think ultimately she will just be such a danger that she ends up being killed either killed in self-defense by the crew or killed in the attempt to pursue her vendetta somehow the, those are sort of the I think the, the negative endings for Clarissa and there is a possibility that she could have an experience which breaks her out of her current mindset that would be great I would really really love that for the character it would be nice to feel something other than loathing for Clarissa Based on what she's done to date, I'd say the first options are probably far more likely a fate for her. But let's not rule out the possibility of redemption. Uh, Naomi is back. I'm, I really need Amos to forgive Naomi now. I think he's been unfair. He's holding her to an impossible standard. And he needs to get off it. But I also understand that the reason he's doing that is because I think Amos has such trouble fully trusting somebody and sharing intimacy with people because he has been clearly horrifically tr mistreated particularly in his childhood and I think once you've burned Amos it's going to take an awful lot for him to be able to open up to you again because you know he built those barriers for a reason and if he's taken the courageous decision to let you in and then once inside you violate, you know, those that, that trust, a massive, you know, a, a sort of fortress will go up around him. And, and we've seen that's essentially what's happened with him and Naomi. And so I do keep reminding myself that although I'm frustrated and that I can see he's being unfair and unnecessary in the way that he's kind of holding her at arm's length I can actually also completely empathize with the reasons he has internally um the sort of internal character logic of of him doing that so it's really great writing because even though I'm wanting to be served something up actually the way the writers have done it is is actually far more realistic for Amos's character I think that's kind of it for now I'm I'm actually feeling quite apprehensive going into this. I, 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 I'm actually watching this way later than I would normally be watching a reaction. I think literally just because I want, I would rather have it ahead of me than behind me, and just just not wanting it to be over, and not having to wait till December for the next episode. And I know, yep, yeah, you guys all have to wait a year. I understand now. This for you must be like, oh my god, we're nearly there. 
but oh my god we are nearly there i am at least relieved that we're not gonna have to wait too long between this episode and the first episode of, of season four and i'm guessing that was really great timing because for a lot of you guys this this journey i've been on has been kind of your like series recap ahead of time so it all worked out really well and thank you again to belinda and to dan for lobbying so hard to get me to react to this show because i had never even heard of it and it's now literally my favorite show so that was a win i can't waffle on any longer i gotta watch it i know i know i know i'm gonna do it now let's have at it oh my god I'm ready. I am ready now. Well, as ready as I'm ever going to be. Oh my god, everything is frozen and it's crunching into the nucleus! Look at it! What is it doing to us? It's made a fucking solar system of us. <laughs> you stupid bitch. Sir. That's ah! not gonna work. You're being pumped full of blockers. How can you live with that? I've killed better people than Telly Fagan. <gasps> I shouldn't have done that. I bet it was all her. Sue Moon. Mm -hmm. The fake broadcast, all of it. She tried to kill us. I don't give a shit about you. It was about Holden. Revenge for her father. I've known people like her. Keeping her around is not gonna work. Mm, take her to the Thomas Prince, they could lock her up. It'd be easy if I put her down. No! No! You're not gonna... You're not gonna shoot her. Well, what if I override the auto dog to do an overdose? It'll be painless. No. This one won't be grateful for your mercy. Well, it's not about her. It's about us. Antenna's up. Don't get too happy. We still can't transmit. Transponder signal's being received. At least we now know where all the other ships are. What about Holden? Yeah. I don't think Holden left on his yeah. own. Marsha Skiff did, though. Maybe they took Holden with them. It's Doctor the Behemoth. If Holden is on that skiff, he might be with your old friends now. Oh, they're already there. To any ships in need, your injured are welcome on the Behemoth. We have gravity and med techs to help. Yeah, Food I thought Gummo was running that need. ship. This channel she will was. remain dedicated to fleet relief efforts. You hold the fort till we get back. Yeah, no. That ain't gonna work. I have to go. So do I. Hey, I just got my family back. Whole team, then. Why? Wow. Whole team. Don't abandon the ship! I need that ship to not fucking blow up. I'm afraid your situation has changed. And probably not for the better. I already said everything to the other interrogator. And like I told him, I want to know where my friends are. A lot of people have died. I'm not saying another goddamn word until I know my crew is okay. James Holden, in the flesh.
I want to talk to Naomi Nagata. Uh, not just yet. When I find out what happened to my crew, I'll talk. You tell me everything I want to know, then I put you in touch with your crew. Fair? It'll all sound insane. Mm -hmm. I am not here to judge you. Josephus Miller, the detective from Ceres. He who died on Earth. What, a dead man came to you and told you to go on while you hear voices? <laughs> Do you want to hear this story or not? My apologies. Please continue. It was like seeing a whole civilization all at once. Billions of them. Strange, bright minds. Not human. And the ones who sent the proto-molecule. The ones who created it. They made the station. We've had it all wrong about the proto-molecule. It's not a weapon wasn't sent to kill us. It was just trying to build a road. Well, every single person on Eros died for that it road. It doesn't care about us mm. any more than we care about anthills we pave over. And now that it's finished building the ring, it's trying to report in. Everyone it could talk to is gone. I don't understand. Something killed them. It tried to stop it. Burned whole solar systems like they were cauterizing a wound. Only it didn't work. We are in a graveyard. We need to get out of this place and never come back. That man is seeing ghosts. He's insane. Holden's not insane. When we were down there on that station, it opened the door and protected him. Yeah. Whatever this place is, I think he's somehow in contact with it. Will he help us escape? I believe he would if he could. But this thing has its own agenda and it's not on our side. I don't think it's safe to assume that Holden is either. So my people will secure a place where he will be locked up and under constant guard. Fine. Permission for this team to remain aboard, sir. All are welcome. But your weapons are not. I'm not giving you my armor. Those are the rules of this ship. You will abide by them or you are free to leave. In this fucked up alien place, we're all on the same side. Stand down. Harari put their gear in storage. It will be safe and secure. Yes, sir. Harari, no. Nice soup. Fuck off, Diego. Pause. It reaches out 113 times a second, but no one answers. No one answers because no one who can hear is alive. So it builds the investigator, which is Miller, who is able to talk to Holden, who is able to trigger the lock. I still don't think the trigger in the lock was just about Holden seeing the civilization, I still feel like he has triggered a process. Maybe he hasn't, maybe there's something else that's going to happen, but I feel like something's, you know, that, my point is it's too late. I think whatever Holden needed to do, he's done, but we're still not yet seeing what the results of that are going to be and i'm absolutely fascinated to see that thank god bobby is there to bring some common sense to this because people despite everything that has gone on are still being stupid and i love the way that um holden just characterized that of they don't care about us any more than we care about anthills that we destroy when we you know make a road it's uh, yeah pave over them so true. Okay. Play. Come on, Kamina. Regrowing a spinal cord is a delicate procedure even under the best circumstances. My people are dying. And I'm supposed to lay here and do nothing. Yes, exactly that. If you ever want to get better, get out. She was the doctor on Tycho. Oh, Kamina, you'll be of use again. God! Oh, Kamina, that's not going to help. 
What is she doing? Coming up. What? <laughs> she is not going to drug herself up. So coming up. <laughs> oh! I have an idea to get us out of this mess. The behemoth was designed as a generation ship. It needed the capability to send type beam messages over 100 light years or more. What does that have to do? It has an extraordinarily powerful communications laser which might be able to punch through the interference at the ring gate. Oh. So we could send out a call for help. This isn't magic, it's physics. It's worth a try. I'll speak to the captain of the behemoth. Nice, be of value. Delta, gotta work extra hard now for keeping us alive. Do you think they do the same for us? I'm not turning anyone away. We run out of synthetic blood for our goal. Uh, finally, some useful information. Report to medical units for mandatory blood donation. And do it now. We go. You don't have to do it. I bleed as well as anyone. Shit. Doesn't seem right. So many dead or messed up, but not this guy. Or you. Mm. Or me. Wow. How many died? What? Keeping count? Don't. Fuck off! Talk to the prisoner. You're protecting him, Gunny? I didn't. You shut up, too. We're taking him to the brig as ordered. Now, everyone just shut the fuck up. Thank you. You need to lock her up. She's killed a lot of people. We put a chemical restraint on her. She can't take it off. Yeah, yeah, we on it. It's holding on this shit. This a little shit. Mm. I want to talk to drummer. Cat mash for a bus man now. We hold out your weapon when you on board. Well, that's not gonna happen. Please. I know them. Okay. What happened to Drummer? No, you come in with me. Oh, fuck off. You desert her. You want to arrest. Oh, you. Okay, I'm gonna need that gun back. It's all right. You can absolutely piss off. I was expecting this. I will get us some answers. I'm done with Diego's bullshit. It's not desertion if your captain lets you go. Can't retros retroactively create a charge of. Desertion. Fuck off, you little creep. Sorry, I know I'm being harsh on Diego, but I just hate it when he's like this. Nagata? Your lap dog told me I was under arrest. Yeah, well, Harari correctly judged that I might want to work with you if you came back. What happened to Drama? She was injured. She saved my life. And I saved hers. You were expecting mutiny. Where's Holden? Did the Martians bring him here? Yeah, they did, but he's now conditioned to entertain visitors. Our problems with the grid have persisted. I didn't come here to fix your ship. And whenever that happens, everyone on this ship will asphyxiate in the dark, and that includes your crew, uh, James Holden and Drum. I'll come up with a plan to stabilize the grid and put together teams to implement the repairs. Good. But... Then I'm going to see my friends. Fucking hell. I love that they have a blocker. Tu m'en dirais. Ça s'acquit. Not strong enough, not getting through the distortion. 
All they do is heat up ring a couple of degrees. Heat up the ring? Why would it have that effect? It heated up the ring by a couple of degrees. Innes and Belt are side by side helping each other. Peace in our time. All it took was everybody about to die. This is Monica Stewart reporting from the Intership Relief Channel. Oh! A new shipment See? of vital supplies, including much it. needed electrical parts, has just been received from the UNN Thomas Pits. <laughs> Captain Ashford asks that anyone group reports that all plasma... I've got to get me something to eat. You coming? I'll catch up. Amy's got a new friend. Hey. Are you a doctor? I was a nurse. Run a clinic in St. Petersburg for the undocumented. Those are people who aren't on basic. Yeah, I know people like that. Yeah. I think that's what most of my life is. Seeing what needs to be done and trying to do it. She's amazing. Mine too. Mm -hmm. I ship it! so much well you never saw anyone who got hurt before they said you were injured but i didn't i sort of need a favor this is the wrong kind of power pack assembly hmm? holden is here if i could just talk with him then maybe he can help and i thought you'd come to check on me I did. I can make this work. I'm glad you're back. That did it. Thank you. Mm. You think he can help get us out of this? I don't know. I hope so. Well, you help me finish this, and I'll walk you down there. I love them. I want to send a skiff between us and the station with a nuclear warhead or overloaded reactor. Uh, that would seem like a dangerous thing to do. The field that's trapping us here will contain the explosion. There's no danger to us or the station, but the high energy photons it generates. I think it might interfere with what's stopping us. We'll locate something you can use. Thank you. We're taking a hell of a risk. Well, I would say the situation calls for... Thank you. This here Samuel. He really needs some painkillers. Didn't have any. If you find some, go ahead. I don't have any left. I want to scare up some food. You want any? I'm going to be here for a while. You know he's dead, right? I do. Are you still trying to help? No. Just taking a moment with him. I'll bring you some food. She's just amazing. Some supplies are thinner than the inventory. Someone could be stealing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Ashford is gonna kick somebody's ass. Oh, and I do. Who did I put in charge of security for emergency supplies? Me, boss man. Yeah. Have any supplies gone missing? I don't know. It's a simple question. I don't. Are there missing supplies? Oh no. Well, then who the fucking would? Everything we do here is to buy one more chance to live, one more breath. So do your fucking job. I will space you myself. Wow, he is not fucking about. I told him I was your minister. I came to the wrong place. I thought if I came here and I looked you in the eyes, maybe I could see you as a person. Why do you care? I don't. That's what's strange. I try to care about everyone. It's exhausting. When Amos offered to, to kill you, 
I wanted to let him. Why didn't you? I keep looking for a way to care about you. I think, well, she's clearly a damaged person, but then I wasn't. It wasn't mercy. I was vanity. Mm. I didn't want to think of myself as someone who wanted vengeance. Yeah. Are you asking for my forgiveness? No. You should have let him kill me. You don't get the easy way out. Where's Jim? Ready for remote detonation. Okay, that's far enough. Do it. Hit! 